Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, you asked for it. Well, actually, 91% of you said, yes, please, I'm super curious to see how you do your nails. Whereas the other 8% of you said, nah, nails are meh. Hold on, that's 1% missing. So that only goes to 99%. Anyway, I don't know where the 1% of you are, but for the rest of you who are interested, here is how I do my nails. So I have currently got naked nails. There is nothing on them. And I don't actually put nail polish on my fingernails because I'm terrible at it and I chip it. I chip it so fast that within a couple of hours I've ruined the polish. So what I actually use are nail wraps. So they're just stickers that you put on your nails. It's just a little bit more complicated than that I'll show you but not much more complicated. These ones that I've got here in these beautiful colors are the Jamberry brand ones. These are what I have used almost exclusively since I've started doing my YouTube channel. I am not sponsored by Jamberry. I simply use them because I like them. But if Jamberry wants to sponsor me, they're more than welcome to. I would love that. And here are some of the ones that I've already used. You've probably seen these ones on different videos on the channel. There are so many colors and pretty patterns. And I just flick through my little book and go, oh, unicorn nails or oh, lots of sparkles. And I get all excited about what color and pattern my, my nails are going to be each week. So let's see. These, th these are my newest ones, but... I got these ones just recently too and they're little kitties and I've already cut them to size. So let's have a look at a full sheet. So this is the full sheet of nail wraps and they're the big thick ones and I don't tend to use them a whole heap. But these five down the bottom, I use five of them for each time I do my nails. So this one here fits on my thumbnail and you use half for each thumbnail and this one down here actually fits on my pointer finger and on my ring finger which is a bit inconvenient so I actually cut down this fourth one there to fit it on and there's my little finger is perfectly sized there so we'll put these to the side these are the ones that I have already cut ready to go so let's see okay and they're really hard to pick up at the moment <laughs> So I've cut this cutie pie down to fit my nail over here because my nail bed is actually quite flat on my thumb. So I want it to fit as nicely and tightly as I can. And this one here I've cut down to fit both my pointer finger and my ring finger. So it's pretty much the same size as that second one there. And I'm gonna cut these through the middle so they're ready to go. And these are all that I'm going to use today. So they're pretty, they're pretty cost effective. And I have already pushed back my cuticles, but I'll do it again just to show you. Look at how destroyed my nail is. It, it's had, it has nail wraps on it all the time. And I have got such soft, bendy nails. I always have since I was a little tiny kid. It's just what my nails are like. So these nail wraps actually help protect them because I was always flicking back my nails and breaking them down low. And that really, really hurts. <laughs> so these nail wraps really, really help keep my nails together. And they look so pretty. So I have pushed back my cuticles. Let's get, let's get this on. So very, very clean nails we need to start with. And we're going to remove the sticker from the backing and I'm going to do this up the top here with my, it's called an orange stick. I don't know why this stick is called an orange stick and I've just dropped it, but it is. So we don't want to actually touch the sticker with the oils on our fingers because it will stop the glue from being able to stick well. And lining it up, you know how I said I wasn't going to touch it well. I can touch it up here because I'm going to be cutting this top bit off because my nail's not that long. So I'm going to, it gives me a little bit better bit better control because lining it up here is really tricky and I want to get it on so I want to make sure it's not touching the skin I'm gonna redo this you know how picky I am about stickers well it's the same thing with my nails as well my nail stickers so I really want to get them lined up perfectly but it doesn't matter if you're doing this yourself it doesn't really matter all right, so we're smoothing it all the way down. We don't want it to be touching the skin on either side. So you want to, you probably can't see that because it's really, really close because I have had a lot of practice at doing this. I can get it right up to the edge, but not actually touching the skin. So once we've got the sticker on, I then heat it. So I've got the little Jamberry heater. It's nice and convenient. You can do this with a hairdryer. It's just, it's just a lot more convenient and controlled to have the little Jamberry heater, but it's not necessary. So we're basically just heating it to activate the glue. Because if you don't activate the glue, they're not gonna last on your fingernails for very long. 
and I actually like to heat them until the plastic or the vinyl or whatever these stickers are made out of until it actually gets quite stretchy and that way I know that that heat has made it all the way through to the glue underneath that looks good and I always pull it over on the top first because that helps seal it down over the top of the nail and then you just press down all the way around this helps get all the bubbles out and it makes sure that the glue is going to be nice and secure press down everywhere nice such a cute little kitty <laughs> and then you can just trim off the excess and then we clip it and file it after it has completely cooled down I don't like to do that until it's that that glue is definitely set so that's one fingernail I'm just gonna give it another flash with the heat because I overdo things <laughs> it's how I work so I just like to really make sure that I have heated this everywhere all the way around there we go one cute little kitty thumbnail done so isn't it the quickest easiest nail art ever because you're basically just sticking the nail art directly onto your nails so let's get the rest of these nails on. Isn't it cute? This particular design comes with two different color kitties in two different directions. I love this little black one on my other thumb. He's gonna help me do all the building. So cute. <laughs> we'll snip that one off. We got two thumbs pretty much ready. They just need to be clipped. Lovely. Okay, eight more fingers. We'll zoom through these. Because there's nothing, it's like watching paint dry, watching somebody do their fingernails, I think. So <laughs> we'll zoom through them and then I'll show you the finishing, how we finish them up. There we go, one cute little kitty hand. Let's do the other one. two cute little kitty hands they always look so good when they're done but they look even better once they've been snipped so we just cut all the way around and this helps seal the tip of the nail wrap as well and then you file on an angle only going in this one direction can you see how I'm doing that you don't want to go across the nail wrap because it rips it and if you go like this you're actually creating kind of a 45 degree angle in on the top of the nail. I wonder if that makes any sense. Can you see that? So this means that you don't actually have any nail wrap hanging over the edge of the nail. It's actually been filed in on an angle. And then I just run it behind the nail because that gets rid of any excess nail wrap that's just fallen behind there. <laughs> okay, let's do all the rest of the little nails. And they'll be so cute and pretty. So many little kitties just waggling around on the end of my fingernails. <laughs> I do love nail wraps. They're so easy and they're so pretty and they're so colorful and they've got so many different designs. So I love them. Nice and simple. There we go. 10 fingers, well, eight fingers and two thumbs, ready to start playing with some more toys. So make sure you subscribe. And I've got kitty nails, so I'm going to have to do a kitty build, right? That would make perfect sense. So make sure you write in the comment what Lego set you think I'm going to build first with my kitty nails. And I will see you with that build very, very soon. Bye.